Hello everyone and welcome back to Senior Cat Wellness. If you are not already subbed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you do feel so inclined and be sure to turn on all post notifications so that you never miss a video. Additionally, and I recently made a post about this on the YouTube page, if you would like to donate to the channel, please contact me at SeniorCatBusiness at Mail.com. That's SeniorCatBusiness at Mail.com, not Gmail but mail.com better equipment better editing software and better ways to license my footage all of that certainly means better and more worthy content for you in the way that you truly deserve if you are interested in long-form content i can produce a 12 plus 12 plus minute video about any feline related topic of your choosing for a small donation the video of your choosing will be very detailed and cater to your concern or concerns as a loving cat owner. And because the video will be a public post just like all the rest, my hope is that the video or videos will be helpful and informative to everyone, not just the requester, but to all viewers. Love you all and thank you so much for the many years of support. Now, on to today's video. Continuing on with our recent string of requested videos, which I greatly appreciate the ideas and the feedback, today we're going to talk about bladder crystals. Hope this video will cover the subject to your liking, to the person who requested, and to everyone in the audience who is dealing with this right now as a cat owner, and those who could very well face this issue in the future. Many cat owners are very surprised to learn just how common bladder crystals really are in felines, one day a cat seems totally fine, the next they're making frequent trips to the litter box, crying out in discomfort. It's a scary time, it's a scary experience. But understanding what's actually taking place inside your cat's body, specifically the urinary system, can make a big difference in catching problems early and preventing serious complications. So today, I'm going to take a look at why cats get bladder crystals, what all that really means, Now you can keep your pet very comfortable, and of course, very safe. Bladder crystals, they are tiny mineral formations that develop when the minerals in a cat's urine, perhaps your cat's urine, become very imbalanced. The two most uh, common types are struvite crystals and calcium oxalate crystals. Struvite crystals tend to form in more alkaline urine, while calcium oxalate crystals do form in more acidic urine. Although these crystals are microscopic, they can irritate the bladder, or the bladder lining, and cause inflammation. And sometimes they can develop actually into stones. For male cats in particular, crystal pose, uh, crystals do pose an added danger. They can actually block the urethra, making it virtually impossible for a cat to use the restroom, which is a serious medical emergency. I repeat, serious medical emergency. One of the biggest risk factors for crystal formation is dehydration. I talk about how important it is for your cat to, to drink often on the regular. So dehydration, one of the biggest risk, uh, risk factors for these crystals to form. Cats evolved as desert animals. So just sort of by default, if you will, they don't drink as much water as they need to, as they should. This can lead to concentrated urine, where the minerals do have an easier time sort of clumping all together. And a diet, your cat's diet can play a major role. Foods that are high in phosphorus and magnesium Certain ash components can also contribute to struvite crystal formation. When diets that acidify the urine too aggressively, that may increase the risk of uh, calcium oscillate crystals. It's a fine balance, and sometimes even small changes uh, to the one side or to the other, to the right or the left, in diet can shift the pH uh, in ways that do, unfortunately, encourage this crystal formation. Now let's sort of pivot a bit and talk about stress. Talk about that a lot on this channel, too, about routines and stress and how it doesn't take much for cats to sort of get out of whack in terms of their comfort zone. Stress, major factor, often overlooked when we're talking about the formation of these bladder crystals. Many urinary problems, they fall under what is known as feline lower urinary tract disease and stress from the environment. Perhaps even a household conflict. I think I mentioned in my last video relative to the time of publication here, something we don't really want to talk about, talk about often because that's a whole different uh, sort of a genre when you're talking about household conflicts that's not cat related in any way but I'll mention it here because if you have uh, if you've got one cat and you've got multiple people in the home you know arguments and tension in the air 
at the time of publication here, it's uh, it's actually Thanksgiving morning. So yeah, you know, household conflicts. Uh, never overlook that and what that can do to your cat from a stress uh, uh, standpoint, especially when we're talking about a health problem like these crystals forming. A uh, lack of overall enrichment and even downright flat out boredom all can trigger inflammation in the bladder. That inflammation uh, makes the urinary environment within the bladder more favorable for these crystals to form. Very common in indoor cats who experience uh, uh, routine disruptions and don't have uh, the, the maybe adequate environmental stimulation. Just right quick, we, we talk often about cats that sort of come and go, uh, maybe split time, 50-50, indoor-outdoor. We're all very aware, whether you're a cat owner or not, of the potential dangers that a cat could face outdoors, even in the neighborhood setting. But if there is a positive to that whole situation of being outside, there's never a dull moment outside. Cats are naturally curious creatures, and when the world's going by right in front of them, there's always, uh, every day is different, every hour is different. In the home, that might not be the case. Uh, so anything that does throw off uh, the routine uh, indoors uh, could lead to lack of environment stimulation, environmental stimulation, which is something that the cat uh, wouldn't have to really worry about if they're outdoors. So here again, uh, routines disrupted in your indoor cat, another potential trigger that could cause these crystals. Some cats, just like some people when it comes to health issues, are genetically predisposed. Uh, male cats have more vulnerable are more vulnerable to these crystals due to narrower, uh, narrower, narrower easy for me to say, urethras. Now, infections, uh, although less common compared to, say, our canine friends, they can also alter a cat's urine uh, chemistry and contribute uh, to crystal formation. Recognizing the signs of bladder crystals early can prevent these painful and dangerous episodes, these blockages. Early symptoms include frequent visits to the litter box, frequent your cat's straining to urinate. Uh, it's like they're pushing hard, but only just a little bit is, is, is coming out. Uh, and all the, all the while, they're in obvious discomfort, even crying out while they're trying to use the restroom. You couldn't even notice blood in the urine, or you find that your cat started urinating outside of the litter box because in their sort of misunderstanding, they've become to associate the litter box with pain and discomfort, so they're using the restroom somewhere else because they think that maybe the litter box is why, they're, why they are struggling. Uh, some cats will lick the area excessively and attempt to self-soothe. Um, important note, critical note, if a male cat is straining without producing anything, this is a red flag immediate emergency. Don't wait an hour. Don't wait a day. It, it's go time. There's a problem here that is significant, significant, significant. Uh, it's almost like a tornado warning that's, that's 10 minutes from your city. This is a major red flag warning that requires your immediate action. Diagnosis. Let's talk about diagnosis. Diagnosing bladder crystals, uh, urine analysis. Your vet will uh, uh, do a urine analysis to determine the pH of the urine and identify which type of crystal your cat is dealing with. Uh, X-rays, uh, ultrasound to, to check for stones uh, and maybe some changes within the bladder wall itself. Treatment. Depends on the type of crystal. Struvite crystals can be dissolved, often dissolved through uh, prescribed uh, special diets designed to acidify the urine and reduce the uh, concentration of mineral, uh, increase water take, intake, which is, that's, that's across the board. Stress management, lower that stress in the home. Sometimes antibiotics are also introduced. If an infection is involved, uh, that's also uh, part of the treatment um, with respect to the antibiotics. In terms of the calcium oscillate crystals, they don't dissolve. So stones are, in fact, present. This could re require surgery for removal and that specialized diet to prevent a reoccurrence. And hydration, That's here again, that's across the board. Hydration, increased hydration is key regardless of crystal type. Prevention. It's all about positive urinary health. Wet food, multiple water sources, fresh water all the time, essentially all the time available. Uh, Flowing water, bowl, fresh water, critical. Positive environment, mental, physical, positive environment, low stress. All of this, all of this as a collective. Huge difference when we're talking about prevention. Cats with a history of these crystals, a uh, special diet, a uh, vet approved diet could be introduced uh, with vet monitoring regularly, even more regular than say uh, your typical checkups that uh, you would take your cat to see the vet, uh, more frequent than that if a cat does have a history of these bladder crystals. 
with the proper knowledge and the care, working in, uh, working as a team with your vet, uh, bladder crystals, uh, cats that have them, uh, even had emergency issues that were resolved and treated and live long lives, comfortable lives. It's all about being on the same page with your vet, keeping up to date with your cat's health in this way, making sure their urinary health and urinary system is functioning smoothly at all times. To the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this subject? Uh, does this topic sort of hit close to home for you as an owner? Anything you'd like to add with respect to something that I mentioned or perhaps with respect to something that I did not mention? The comment section, as always, it's all yours. If you enjoy this material, found it informative, please give the video a like, share it out, and subscribe to us right here at Senior Cat Wellness. And until next time, we will talk to you later.